This is the kind of idea I want to do though, Ren. Like your mom and dad. A trip down memory lane can be a challenge for 68-year-old Ron DeChant. It's so frustrating because I was always really, uh, all, I was always able to understand who's who, who and all that stuff and all of a sudden it's like, phew, it's not easy. Ron was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016. Things weren't like clicking, you know, I would say something or tell him a story or something and it didn't register. Before this started, I was able to do all kinds of stuff and all of a sudden it's like, what's going on with my brain? You know, <laughs> something is not working here. Ron enrolled in a clinical trial at Cleveland Clinic for an IV infusion called aducanumab. The new drug targets amyloid, a protein that forms in the brain, creating plaques, which are believed to cause dementia. When this antibody, this medication aducanumab, stick to this amyloid, it helped the immune system to identify them and remove them. Aducanumab recently received FDA approval for early stage Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Tusi says the drug doesn't reverse damage or improve symptoms, but may give people more time before advanced dementia sets in. The observation was that if people receive 10 milligram per kilogram dose, which is the highest dose, they notice significant improvement basically in removing amyloid plaques from the brain compared to group who did not receive this medication. In the last year, Ron has begun to struggle to put faces with names. But since enrolling in a second trial for the drug, he believes his decline has slowed. He and his wife know it's not a cure, but they're determined to advance science. We're trying everything we can to find answers and, and to help not only us, but everyone, you know, how we can do something to stop this um, process. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.